little board game browsing uh, slash live chat here. And uh, today I'm going to be looking at games from Parker Brothers. Uh, the way I've got it situated is I've got the game sorted by rank. And so I'm just going to be browsing through here to see if there's any games that maybe Parker Brothers has made that I haven't seen that could be cool. And uh, if you guys would like to, of course, you can uh, just uh, leave comments and uh, I will get to them and look at them and uh, we'll just have a good old time here. So let me uh, see here. Okay, I got that. All right, good. Okay, so here we go. Of course, Survive Escape from Atlantis. Uh, I had the original one. That's a great game. Uh, Diplomacy, we used to have this one. Uh, but we never played it, just uh, too complicated for us. Liars Dice, great game there, can't stop. Mahjong, that's a classic, of course. This is a fantastic game, this version, and I know that they made expansions for it. Uh, of course, Ballard Ass is a classic. Uh, let's see, Pit, one of my favorites. Here's one, Escape from Colditz. Uh, I've looked at this one before. Uh, this is a prison breakout game. Um, you can just let it read here, and it can take a while to play this game, but uh, let's look at some pictures of it. Uh, those That's one that has miniatures. looks really good. And there's some, uh, I guess, meeples. <laughs> uh, look at the board. And this was an older game, too. Um, it looks pretty cool, but uh, my understanding is it does take a long time to play, but it's got some cool mechanisms to it. Let's see here. Go back, go back, go back. All right, let's see here. I'm looking to do. Hey, uh, Christian, how are you doing? Good to see you. I would like to get that one. Yeah, I'd like to get uh, Colditz too, uh, eventually. Um, but that's a game that I think I have to take a little while to learn. Uh, but it's a cool, it's a cool game. Uh, that one we used to have, that's a good game. Scrabble, of course. Uh, this is a great version of Risk uh, and a great version of Clue, too. Here's one. This looks German. I don't know how to pronounce that, but let's take a look at it here. Uh, many of you guys know that designer's name. Let's see here. Uh, this is European. Rolls of Dukes who are trying to establish Dutch's. Across the banks, you hold a hand of cards that correspond to number of plots. Place knights, that's cool. Uh, attempt to expand by include more plots. This is castles, cathedrals, and cities. That's very cool. Let's take a look at it here. Well, let's see. Uh, pretty basic looking game. Kind of reminds me of uh, what is that game? It uh, begins with the C. I can't remember it, but. It has knights in it. It's a pretty popular game. Cars Carsasoni, I believe, is what it's called. Um, yeah, it looks kind of basic, but uh, you know, I like the idea behind it. Um, let's see what else we got here. And I'm thinking about it. I'll go back to the comments here. Good to see you, Christian. Thank you very much. That, that was the, <laughs> the name of it. Um, all right. All right, Escape from Atlantis. Now, I just talked to uh, Mark from uh, Attic Retro, I, I can, Attic Raiders Retro Reviews, um, and he said, I think it was the 90s version that was really nice and played better than the original, and it had some very cool sculpted pieces, uh, which he showed me, uh, very cool looking. All right, uh, D&D, Stratego, let's see. Here's an old game called Hex huh, from 1942. Let's see here. Danish mathematician introduced the game in 1942. Let's see. Uh, simplest rules, connect your color edges with a path and tokens of your color. And there's a swap rule. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the game Go. Um, but yeah, looks like a pretty uh, good-looking abstract game. Seems to have held uh, the hands of time pretty well. Domination's a good game. That's a good game. Uh, that looks like Mancala right there, the game of things. Let's see. Dungeon. I've heard of that one, too. Let's see here.
All right, a lot of these games are classics here. Pitch sets a card game. Don Pepe. Never heard of this one. Let's see. Take control of a gang of mobsters dedicated to extorting money. Uh, player makes money until the mobsters move. Okay, so it's a mobster game. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Let's see here. Don't think this was. Huh. Okay. I don't. There's a picture of the board here. Let's see here. The back of it. Hmm. I wonder if it was released in the U.S. I don't know if it was or not. I don't think it was. I've never heard of it. Oh, uh, let's see here. Books, board, and Barbies. Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, vintage Survive Game. Um, yeah, it's good to see you too. Uh, we definitely need to get up with or uh, do an interview soon. Books, board, games, and Barbie. B B B. All right, let's see here. All right, I just gotta scroll back. All right. Okay. I've heard that's really good. We have it. We haven't played it yet. Uh, the new dungeon. They, that's uh, based off classic dungeon. 1680. Okay, that's an old. The Great Balloon Race. It looks like a kid's game. I might look at that. That's a fun game, Magnificent Race. Mysteries of Peking. I think I looked at that one a, a while ago. Um, that one looked interesting. Situation 4 and Situation 7 are both very good games. They're puzzle games. Uh, let's see here. Pro Coup d'etat from 1966. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. I'll look through the comments real quick while that's loading. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, new one with Coup Overthrow is a fascinating new concept as a spear point challenge for game lovers looking for something different. Okay, well, it doesn't really talk much about uh, what the game is about. Uh, let's see here. Looks interesting, whatever it's about. Um, huh. Well, that looks. That might interest some people. Uh, hear a little bit about it. Curiosity of puzzling and arresting qualities. Hmm. Okay. Well, the game looks very intriguing. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's about, but looks intriguing nonetheless. All right, let's see here. Da -da -da. Dungeon Dice, Roman Carthage. Wow, from the 1950s? Hmm. I might, I might look at that one later. I'm just curious to see. There's Tornado Rex, Legend of Zagor. Tornado Rex is a great game. Zagor, I'd like to have one day too. Domain. I don't know if I heard of this one. Let's see here. Simple game on a grid. Uh, players, please have different areas and shapes. Any of the games have the largest area. So it's an area game. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, this looks a lot like Blockus. Um, uh, that's the Waddington's version. Okay, so now I kind of get an idea where Blockets came from. Pro Action Football, that's a classic. Let's see, Lionheart's a fun game. International Movie Maker. What is this one? This was from 1992. Okay. From the translation. Clearly attempt to take the cannibal soup pot with their islanders escaping over the island is the only possible way. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Hmm. I wonder, is, is this a kid's game? It looks pretty simple. But actually, it kind of, huh, it looks kind of like a little bit like Survive. It looks like trying to escape. Hmm. 
very interesting. Curious to see if anybody has that game. Okay. This is in another language. So I don't know if it was released in the U.S. All right, let's go back a little bit. I'm going to go back to the comments. All right, comments. Hey, Bernardo. It's good to see you. Uh, not really. I'm just uh, kind of browsing through to see if there's uh, any games that I haven't heard of that look cool. Uh, but I, I guess I've been coming across some European games uh, that are older. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's keep looking here. Oh, uh, if you guys have any suggestions as to board games for me to look up, please feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to look them up. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of browsing again. Yeah, here's a game about cannibals <laughs> for those who have just joined us. All right, let's see. Dealer's Choice is a fun game. Crypto. I think I actually had this game at one time. I don't remember what much about it, though. Astron, 1954. Avalanche, I have seen. Thought Wave. Hmm, okay. A quick moving tactical contest for two quick thinking players. It's in Hex and Twitch, which I like Twitch. Identical sets, each style has paths on it. They take turns placing a single tile. Anyone on the board with a goal of creating a path connecting their two sides of the board. Okay, so this sounds a lot like uh, that Twix game from 3M. Only caveat, it must fit if you place a tile next to the other. Okay, so this is like Twix. Twix is a fun game. That's a very fun game. So, yeah, this one kind of looks like that. But, uh, yeah, I like the idea. That's a cool idea. Um, let's see here. Mini Mastermind. Uh, All the King's Men. That's like uh, Fool's Chess, I think it was called. Monster Mash. I've, been, I've seen that one. Beggars and Thieves. All right. It's a trick-taking game. Okay, this is based off of a card game. Um, okay, they just took the card game and spiced it up. Okay. Let's see here. Going back to the comments. Oh, yeah. Twix is a fun game. Um, I'll have to grab that one out soon. Okay. Uh, I think I got through back. Okay. Uh, Dune. We have that game. This game is actually very... This is a very good game, this one right here. It's not the, the one that most of us know about. Out of control. Okay. Get rid of all your chips. Make your way around the board as you do the things on the do card. And don't do the things on the don't card. All right. Let's see here. Okay. that's yeah, That kind of reminds me of that game where, like, um, I cannot remember the title of it. Maybe you guys remember, but... Somebody would be sitting in the middle of a room, and then there would be something that they wouldn't do, and you would have to guess what it is that they weren't doing, like not blink their eyes or something. And I think you would give they would give clues or something. Can I remember the title of it? But that's just kind of maybe a little bit of what it reminds me of. Huh. Might look into that one. Let's see. All right. Tower of the Wizard King. Great game. Thank you, Bernardo. For recommending that one. Uh, let's see. Wealth of Nations. Monopoly, Indiana Jones. Yeah, we all know Monopoly. Web of Gold. I've heard nothing but great things about that game. A uh, very good version of Monopoly. Campus. <laughs> okay. Let's see this. As a board cover with tiles, you take turns rolling two dice. Roll the dice, turn over tiles with board with a value up to. There are bonuses. Game ends. One player has turned over all their tiles. Okay. Let me just kind of wonder what this is here. It sounds like a good filler game. Um, interesting. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Hello, YouTube Master. Hi, YouTube Master. Nice to meet you. to see you. Uh, let's see here. Pro draft. 
we have that game. That's a football drafting game. It's pretty interesting. All right, let's see. Touche scan. Hmm, let's see. Admirals. Okay. What's this one about? This looks like Stratego. Position the ships of your fleet in order to engage in individuals and capture the enemy's admiral. Not quite a naval version of Stratego. There are significant rules differences. Okay. All right. Well, if you like Stratego, looks like this one would be an interesting one to check out if they have different rules. Uh, Razzle. That's a fun little game. Uh, Civil War game, 1863, made in 1961. Interesting. Shadow War. We have this game, and I think I've played this game once, and the rules are probably the most complex of any game I've ever I've ever, ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's not a game I would bring out on a game night just because it would take too long. It's Fun City, I've seen people like Jamie who've reviewed this, and, this, and uh, uh, Bauer. He reviewed this one too, and he liked. I think he, they both kind of liked it. Oh, uh, Lexicon. There's an old one. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna go and uh, let me go to my comments here. I'm gonna go back to uh, the company. Was it the McGregor Company? They were like were one of the first board game companies, and uh, I think I'm gonna go through some of their games. We're, we're talking like 1800s and stuff. Uh, one of these days. Mind Maze. We have this one. This is a fun little game if you like those uh, mousetrap type components. Uh, let's see. Chaos. That's another fun little game. Um, let's see here. Scoop. That's from the 50s. Wow. Uh, boxers or briefs? I dare not ask. Lost Gold. That's one I would like to get to. Uh, Let's see here. Cut and run. Okay, let's see what this one's about. Gambling strategy. All right. Collect a set of more casinos. Game consists of board, roll a dice, play, travel around the board, buying casinos. They must gamble at the casino if it's already owned, so it has a monopoly thing to it. Using when the game player must. Okay. Kind of like a little Monopoly variant, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at it here. Okay, that's the middle of it. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, looks okay. All right. One over. Let's see here. Uh, finish card. Players place your pawns on the opposite end of the finish. Uh, you have one pawn to the finish. Okay. Hmm, let's see here. I don't see much as far as in the pictures here. Uh, <laughs> looks pretty basic. All right. Dynamite's a game I would love to have. Star Reporter from 1937. <laughs> I was curious. Tempted to look at that one. All right, let's see. I'm going to go into the comments here. YouTube Premium, not only to ads. Oh, here, let me get this one here. I'll tell you one thing I like about it is uh, Cobra Kai. I think they just came out with season three. Um, good, uh, it's a good show. Um, let's see. Microdot, uh, I cannot remember who told me about this. I think it might have been my friend Fur. Uh, let's see. Black Cannon. Okay. Uh, Mark from the Attic Raiders told me about this. And uh, he said this was one of his first games. You're a pirate hunting for buried treasure in the dangerous waters. Find three treasure chests. Dash and Daring. Um, and this is kind of like how it plays a little bit like crossbows and catapults. Um, Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I'll have to see if... I don't know if Mark has that game anymore, but I'd love to see one of his reviews on it. All right, let's see here, guys. Uh, back to the comments. Oh, you did review it? Oh, okay. 
Okay, I'll have to look for it. All right. Okay, Garfield. Uh, let's see. Uh, strolling bowling. Interesting. <laughs> Pushover. I think I have heard of this one. Let me let me take a look at it here. Range around a circular track. Roll up to three dice. Uh, you grab the chips and seat it again with the chip. You get first to ten chips. Kind of reminds me a little bit of um, those new Monopoly gamers. Um, let's see here. Okay. Interesting. All right. Children Pursuit, they'll never stop making that. <laughs> All right, chicken out. Uh, I've heard good things about this one. I know, uh, Bernardo, you had a chicken game. Was it chicken out or chicken run? Um, for both of them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rummy Cub, Destroy Death Star. Uh, let's see. Waterworks is a good game. My wife used to own this game. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, you move clockwise around the board, skipping spaces, and egg space gives you the egg. Uh, you need two eggs. You're just trying not to wake the dragon, and it's a mechanically activated dragon. Here's a look at it. I, um, I've seen this game on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I think that game goes for some money now. All right, let's see here. Bionic Woman is actually a pretty decent game. This is a very good version of Monopoly, I think. Uh, let's see. Picture Pursuit. All right, let me go back to the comments here. <laughs> Chicken Pot Pie game. Where do they come up with the ideas for these games? Ulcers? Okay. What in the world is this? All right. Trying to assemble a full staff of personnel, salesmen to run your company. There aren't enough available. A two-sided board. Okay. Hire array competing companies. Early editions. This is a Waddington's game, I guess, too. Uh, it's an interesting title for sure. Uh, let's see here. I don't see much of a. Okay, I guess this is the board. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks interesting. It sounds like a game you would bring out like. Rare every so often, I guess, with the right crowd. Inventors is a fun game. All right, of course, we're gonna have a lot of monopolies in this. Uh, let's see, crawl. Uh, I've seen this one 4000 AD. We used to have, uh, we just never played it. Funny Bones, Halma 1884, the electronic Merlin. Let's see here. Rough House. It looks like a kid's game. Let's see here. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Hmm. Pizza Party. I think we have that one. That's a fun one. All right. Go for it. That's a good game. All right. Sudoku. All right. Campaign, good game if you're willing to like war games. And I think Waddington's did that one. All right, let's see. The Grape Escape, uh, I would love to have that game. <laughs> Plato game. Marry, Dump, or Date. Ah, interesting. All right, let's see. Castle Risk, uh, good version of Risk. I, well, it's a good version of Risk, I think. Uh, Vendetta. All right, let's see what this one's about. 
Godfather, large spinner in the center decides with space. Okay, I guess it's a roll or move game of some kind. They don't say much about it. <laughs> Neat little mechanism, though. All right. A tennis game. What? They actually made a tennis board game. Uh, separate decks of cards to serve and play. A card game based on tennis. <laughs> All right, I'll take a look at it here. Smash kill. Huh. I'm curious to see how that would play. The The text looks familiar. I might put that on my list to get. <laughs> I like to play card games. All right, comments. Where are we at with the comments? Oh, here. Okay. All right. All right, moving on. Let's see here. Or if I can we try something here. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Tennis. That's funny. Jurassic Park, of course. Um, it's a quicksand. Saint or sinner. Now, yeah, look at that one. All right. Flinch is fun if you like Skip Bow. Uh, Hotel Tycoon. That's a fun game. Um, Nip Nop. I think I looked at this one not too long ago. Um, it's got an interesting uh, component to it. All right, let's see here. Jack Shaw's King of Authors from 1861. Wow, that's old. All right, you guys seeing anything? I might, uh, I might just go the other direction and uh, you know, go backwards on the rankings. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, I don't know if I can. Uh, I'll stick with this. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Now I just reset it. All right. Let's go by name. Let's just see here. I'll go a few more here. A team. I have a long classic. What in the world is this? Criminal base to find five stolen top secret airplanes. Okay. Looks 3D ish. No, not. Okay, it looks like it looks like glue, pretty much. Let's see here. Um, amateur golf, nineteen twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look through these older games one of these days. Okay, let me go through the comments here. Um, I don't think, uh, okay. Wait up for All right, let's see. Anyway, how are you guys doing out there? All right, let's try this here. All right, get that. All right. I actually used to have this game as the world turns. It was no good. Let's <laughs> just say that. Um, all right, Azuma from 1992, okay. Similar to Spoons, okay. Well, Spoons is fun. All right. All right, let's see here. Bamboozle is actually a pretty fun game. It plays a lot like uh, Mulder Dash. Only, uh, I can't remember what it is. All right, Barney Jumbo. Must be about the dinosaur. All right, let's see here. Batman and Robin, the board game. Okay, we're going to the Batmans here. 
crime fighting card game, Batman Returns 3D board game, animated series 3D board game. And not a lot of not a lot of info on this one. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Beethoven. Oh, that's off the dog. I thought they made it about the composer. Okay. Big John toilet game. That's all I gotta say about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Well, I'm not finding much of, uh, of things that I have not yet heard of. Um, let's see. I'll do a couple more here. Bruce Jenner decathlon game. Uh, somebody that I know has that. Um, was it you, Bernardo? I can't remember. Bulls and Bears. Uh, wow. Well. All right, let's see here. Captain Planet and the Planet Tears, yeah. All right, let's see. Castle Bridge. Well, let's go back to the comments here. Hey, guys. Hey, Matt, what's up, man? It's good to see you. All right. Both Queen. I'm just looking through the comments here. Oh, you guys, uh, let me know if you can think of anything. I am Parker Brothersing, Voice of the Mummy. Oh, hey man, it's good to see you. I think this is the gentleman that uh, fixes the Voice of the Mummy games. Um, yeah, that's not Parker Brother. That's Noel Bradley, I think. But great game though. Um. Let's see here. Chicken out. There's this. There's something about these chicken games. All right. Let's see here. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Let me go back here. I saw one that looked interesting. Climb the mountain. Oh, it's like snakes and ladders. Okay. Are there any pictures on this? I don't see any pictures except this one. They look 3D. No, nah, it's not. All right, I'll go through one more, guys, and uh, I will call it. Um, but good to see you guys out there. Keeping me company here. Uh All right, let's see. Crackers in my bed. Definitely a kid's game. At least I hope it is. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Uh, Crown Red. That's from the 60s. What is this one here? Um, Dinosaur Island. I think, Matt, you had that one. Disaster. Okay. Survive as many disasters as you can while moving around the board. Gain a survival chip to every disaster you survive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> disaster. Okay. I have to look at this one here. Huh. That would be an interesting one to reprint for sure. <laughs> All right. All right, let me go through one more here. All right. Don't drop mama. Don't forget the lyrics. Uh, Donut disaster is fun. Loud, though. Uh, all right. E.T. game reminds me a lot of the video game. Not all that great. Um, 
If you walk, save the trees, that's definitely your a Mac game. All right, let's see. All right. Wow. A lot of old games here. Uh, okay. This one looks piratey. I'm just curious about this. All right. Uh, Flying Dutchman. Move on to ships. Reveal if your shareholders play the current value back to the bank. Use the optic trade. Dutchman's threat or play as might be. What in the world? So this is like a puzzle. What kind of game is this? I'll take a look at the board here. Hmm. Interesting. So it's got a pirate theme, but it also has cards that you can trade around and stuff. Hmm. So you're watching out for the Dutchman, apparently. Okay. I like the idea. That would be a game I'd be interested in trying out here. All right. Let's see what time is it? 19. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head home. And uh, if you guys like, I can leave the chat room open so you guys can keep chatting. Uh, so um, I will you know, talk to you all later, but I'll leave this uh, open for you guys.